Hey, Jacob, uh, Matt Lehman here. Um, I guess just to start it off, how are you doing? How's your family doing uh, amidst all this? And secondly, how are you spending your time? Uh, we're doing good. Um, you know, we're just hanging in there. Um, luckily, I had my parents in town to kind of spend time with and to quarantine together. So um, we've just been hanging out as a family. Um, got the dog here too, which is nice. Um, but you know, they've kind of been spoiling me. It's nice. They kind of, they make me breakfast, lunch, and dinner every day. So, um, it's definitely been nice to have them here. And, uh, we've been watching a lot of shows. Um, trying to stay active. We've gone on, you know, long walks and hikes. Um, doing whatever we can to stay active, get outside a little bit. Um, my house just got completed. So I've been kind of enjoying, enjoying everything I, you know, did here and all the new furniture. And, it's kind of worked out good, actually. I was supposed to, it was supposed to be done right at the end of the year, and I was gonna end up going back to Florida, probably. So it would have been like complete, and then I would have had to go away right away. So it's nice to kind of settle in and, and get used to everything. And um, like I said, nice to spend time with my parents, too. So, do you have any uh, TV show recommendations from the time that you spent watching? Yeah, well, we watched The Tiger King in like two days, we crushed that. And then um, I did all of Ozark. Um, so I, my mom had seen seasons one and two. Um, my dad hadn't seen much of it. So she wanted me to watch one and two and then we were gonna watch three together. So I got through one and two pretty quick. And then we watched three as a family. And um, it was great. I love that show. Um, great ending to season three too. Um, that's definitely one I'd recommend. Tiger King's a little, little out there and your people like it some people don't so i wouldn't really recommend that but um ozark for sure is definitely going to start and uh on a little more serious note last one for me we learned recently that uh john chica and rick talking had talked to a lot of the players on an individual basis i'm just wondering for you what was that like given the fact that um just the season may or may not be over yet that's still kind of hanging in the balance and and what is your reflection on the season that you guys uh, have played so far? I think I missed the first – I think I missed part of that question. Oh, I'm sorry. I was asking about uh, – we learned that there were meetings with uh, players on an individual basis. I'm just wondering what that was like given that the season is still kind of hanging in the balance. You don't know whether it's over yet. And then uh, sure. also just your reflection on the season. Yeah. Um, yeah, we had like um, – we just kind of talked. Yeah, the first bit was about your season individually. Um, they kind of talked about, you know, um, the future, what they what they expect from you, and where they think you can improve. Um, it was good. I mean, there were good phone calls, good conversations. Um, yeah, it was it was talk and shikes. Um, you know, mine went well. Um, it's always nice to to speak with them and just kind of. Um, you know, give ideas and receive information on how they feel and, and uh, vice versa. So um, it was a good talk. Um, my year personally, I think um, I think it went pretty well. I think uh, there was a little more opportunity there with a few injuries, and I think I was able to um, you know take advantage of it and and uh, you know play you know some some bigger minutes, which was which was very nice. I, I definitely enjoyed that. And, um, you know, I think, you know, as a team too, we, we, you know, we started really good. I think we started how we expected to and, and kind of started to fall off a little bit. You know, obviously we um, lost control at first in, in our division there and, and uh, then we started to kind of find it again. So, um, you know, I think for us as a group, it's just that consistency and, and um, you know, buying in like Taco says to, to our system and, and the way we have to play every single night. And, um, you know, I think it's a matter of, you know, finding ways to do that. And um, I think overall, I think um, we were still fighting. That's the season, but um, you got to do your best to stay mentally prepared and, and uh, be ready if it, if it ever does continue here. Thanks. We'll go to Tressa Tudrick with 3TV and CBS5. Hey Jacob, how you doing? Uh, question 
for you, um, what kind of things have you been doing to stay in hockey shape? I know that's probably difficult given the circumstances, but what kind of exercises from home have you been exploring? Yeah, the hockey shapes, it's tough to stay in when you don't. Uh, the team actually dropped off a, a bike and um, some workout equipment at my house here. So um, luckily I have, I have that equipment at the house, which has been nice. Um, and then, you know, even guys, you know, not everybody has equipment. So I think it's a matter of just doing everything you can. You know, Jake, our, our trainers are, you know, sending little programs out to you guys, um, you know, working with what you have really. Um, so it's different for every guy. Obviously, Grabs has the gym at his place, so I'm sure he can do a little more than other guys. Like I said, I have the equipment here. Um, I've been trying to take advantage of that and then um, staying active with my. I'm trying to get some some sun and some vitamin D, and um, just doing everything you can to, to stay off the couch because it can be can be easy to migrate to it during a time like this. So. Um, trying to just stay active as best I can. Thank you. Yeah. We'll go to Alex Kinkoff with ArizonaCoyotes.com. Hey, Chick. Uh, good to see you. Good to hear you and your family are staying safe and healthy. Uh, I know you kind of went through the season so far, your assessment of it with us. Uh, and I've been asking some of the guys this. If there's just one moment that, that really pops out to you or sticks out to you that's really – stuck in your memory as, as far as being good, whether it be a certain game, the team came together and won, uh, a moment like that, anything you feel that's going to be lodged in your memory for, for the foreseeable future? I think yeah, that question cut out again for some reason in the middle of it. I just heard the end. Uh, is there a moment that sticks out with you this year, a, a special moment uh, with the team? Um. Jeez, I mean, it's hard to, re you know, I honestly haven't really, you know, done much. Ref it's, it's hard to reflect on this season with, without it really being completed, you know. Um, so it's not really something I've, I've thought about too much. Um, um, I'm trying to think. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I'd have to think about that one. Um, I don't know if I could uh, pinpoint one thing. As far as uh, keeping in touch with teammates, uh, has that been a, a regular thing for you? And if so, uh, what have you been doing to, to keep in touch with the, with the guys? Yeah, for sure. Um, definitely been keeping in touch with a lot of the guys. Um, you know, we miss each other. I mean, we go from, from seeing each other every single day to, to, to nothing at all. So it's definitely a little weird and, and tough. Um, you know, they're like your family, so it's hard not to, to see the guys, you know, when you're supposed to be seeing them. Um, but, you know, you do everything you can. It's so easy to keep in touch these days with these Zoom calls and, and FaceTimes and, and whatnot. And, um, so it's easy to stay in touch and talk and check in on everyone. Um, and then we've been talking even as a team. We've had a few team Zooms um, just regarding the season and, and talking about some things with um, with the PA and whatnot, just on how you know, everything's being handled. Oh, I'll toss in one more real quick before I pass it on. Uh, uh, the the Kachina jerseys have kind of been a hot topic of lately, and and we noticed that you chimed in on on your thoughts on social media yesterday. Uh, what, what are your thoughts of the, the Kachina jersey as, as how as they stand as, you know, maybe one of the best uniforms in sports? Do you have an opinion there? I, I, th I think it is for sure. I mean, it's, that's definitely my favorite jersey. I love wearing those black, those black Kachina jerseys at home. I mean, um, I wish we would wear them every game. Um, obviously, that's not a decision I can make, but I'm sure the guys would love it if we could, you know, end up doing that one day. Um, but those are a special uniform. Um, definitely my favorite, and I, I would agree. I mean, I think it's it's got to be one of the best of all time. Thanks, Chip. Yeah, you bet. Uh, we'll go to Jesse Morrison, then Mark Brown, then Jenna Ortiz. Go ahead, Jesse. Uh, thanks for doing this. Um, if the season doesn't resume, um, just you know, what what would your 
your thoughts be just on the on the season in general? Um, yeah, um, you know, I think we had definitely had our highs and lows this year. I think you know we we definitely started uh, the way we we wanted to. We like I talked about earlier, we were able to get to the first place in our division, um, and you know we were there for a little bit, and then um, we kind of went through you know a couple of tough patches where we uh, kind of got away from things a little bit. Um, and then, uh, you know, we were able to eventually find our way back and, and come together again as a team and, and kind of find our way. And we were continuing to fight for first playoff spot there right till the last, uh, you know, 16, 17 games of the year. Um, so I think, you know, we were excited for the opportunity we had. Um, you know, our hands, whether we were going to make it or not. And, that's kind of all you can ask for is, is for an opportunity for, for you to, to decide your own fate. Um, you know, so I think, you know, looking back, there was definitely, there was definitely times I think um, you definitely, you definitely look back and, and, and say, you know, we could have gotten a game here or there and kept us right in that mix for, for first or second in our division. But um, I think that's just something you learn from and grow from. And um, I think all of us as a, as a group is going to, is going to remember that, and, and hopefully, when we're in that situation again, we can we can come through. So, um, definitely good reflections on this season. Go to Mark Brown. I think your mute's on, Mark. Yeah, it was. Thanks, Rich. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us and uh, spending some time. Um, given the uh, uncertainty of these times and all the scenarios about whether the season would continue the season would end. Um, let me ask you this. Would you like this current season to be complete at this point, knowing when you may not ever get back on the ice this spring or summer, and begin with a fresh slate, uh, beginning with camp in 2020-21? What's your feeling about that? Wait, sorry, what was that? Okay, it's, it's uh, an either-or question. Um, given the uncertainty of these times and whether or not um, teams may get back onto the ice this spring or summer, would you like to see the, the current season end as of March the 12th and then begin with a brand new fresh slate beginning with training camp in the fall in 2020? I don't know. I mean, there's just – it's so much bigger than, you know um, – you know, wanting to finish or not wanting to finish, you know, I mean, that's, you know, if we can play, everyone's going to want to play. I mean, it's just a matter of whether it's safe for, for us, safe for, um, you know, fans. I don't know, you know, would there be fans? I don't know. There's just, there's so many question marks. And um, I think at the end of the day, everybody wants to play um, as long as it's safe. Um, but, you know, I don't think, um, I don't think, you know, anyone's going to, you know, want the season to end and have no playoffs, no, um, you know, no Stanley Cup. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, it's really not up to us. Uh, officials and, and um, really hope that, you know, the world can kind of turn the corner on this thing and, and end up um, making it safe for everybody to continue to go back to, regular everyday life um so you know at the end of the day it would be awesome if we could continue to continue the season and, and finish and have a playoff and um but if not then you know we'll all be you know we'll all recover from it we'll all be all right um you know it'd be exciting roll with that and, and get a lot of um good meeting good excitement and um you know, whenever hockey starts up, it's going to be exciting times. So whether that's this season or next season, uh, that's not up to me, but hopefully we can be playing hockey sooner and later. Thank you. Go to Jenna Ortiz. Hi. Besides physical health, how have you been able to take care of your mental health during this time? I mean, I think that's so important. I mean, you see so many posts online of people, um, you know, sharing their stories and, and, uh, you know, I think for me, the biggest thing is just staying active. 
Um, like I mentioned earlier, it's so easy just to to stay in bed or sit on the couch and do nothing. And I think, you know, when you do that, you kind of feel, um, you know, just, um, you know, lazy. And, you know, it's just that's not really good for your mental health, I don't think. Um, and, you know, it's hard to go from, you know, a routine every single day to, you know, having absolutely nothing to do throughout your day. So I think doing, you know, the best you can to, to have that routine, you know, whether it's just as simple as, you know, setting an alarm and, and, you know, making your bed and making yourself breakfast and going for a walk. I think, I think getting outside is a huge thing too. Um, getting out of the house, going for a walk, going into your backyard, enjoying the sun. We're so lucky we live in Arizona. This is such a great place to be with the weather and um, just enjoying that. And um, that's what I've been trying to do is stay active with my, with my family and keep in touch with loved ones and checking in on them. We FaceTime um, my sister who's, who's in Ottawa um, and my grandparents almost every day. And um, it's just nice to see their faces and, and chat with them. Um, you know, the best you can do to, to stay in touch with them and to stay active and get into a routine. Any more questions for Jacob? Hey, Chick, I'll, I'll toss in one more. Uh, and this may go along with, with the uh, answer you just gave, but um, as hockey players, you have such busy schedules kind of going nonstop, and, and sometimes the summers can go on a snap of fingers. Have you been pleasantly surprised um, by maybe something that you've had more time to do uh, during this, you know, pause? Um, my grandma handed me down her piano. Um, so that's been really special, actually. It's really cool to, to have that in my house. Um, you know, she's great. She's, she's the, she's the cutest person in the world. She's, uh, she's, she's getting old now. I think she's like 85, but you never know. I mean, she, she does her workout every month. She walks every morning. She stays active. Um, and, uh, she's, She's awesome. So it was really special when she was okay, you know, gave the okay to, to give me her piano because I know um, she wanted me to have it. And she always says now that I have it in the house, um, it's like I have a little piece of her with me. So um, it's really special. I promised her I would take lessons. Um, obviously, it's hard to do that now with, um, with the quarantine. I can't have anyone come over and teach it. So I, I downloaded an app on my phone. And, um, I've been playing that a little bit. And, I actually picked it up pretty quick. It's actually been going pretty good. I enjoy it a lot, so it's a nice way to pass time. Um, I've always found it as a, a really, really pretty instrument to listen to, so um, I've been enjoying it. Hey, thanks, and, and just to make sure I'm accurate, because you cut off at the, at the beginning of the answer, you said your grandma handed you down her piano, correct? Yeah, yeah, so she had, the, she had it in her house, and um, she, she was you know, willing to give it to me for my house. Um, so I, you know, I, I painted it a different color and it's like right in the middle of my house now. So um, it's pretty special, pretty special. Okay, great, thanks. Con Connor said he's, he's, uh, he's okay at the piano. So I don't know if you and Gars uh, could get together. For yeah, some, he's good. For some teaching. Yeah, he's really good. Um, he, he played in San Jose, one road trip, they have a piano in the hotel lobby and he always just walks over and plays a quick song for us. He's really good though. Uh, I was impressed. Thanks, Chick. Yeah, you bet. All right, any more questions for Jacob? I just had a clarification one because it did cut up. Um, you said that you were doing some remodeling in your house or was it just new furniture? Sorry, what's that you cut out? Yes, yeah, sorry. Um, you said that you were doing either some type of remodeling or did you just get new furniture or what has happened, I guess, in your house? Yeah, I just, I bought a house um, in the summertime last year. And uh, basically, my mom, one of my mom's close friends is an interior designer in, in Boca, where we're from. And uh, he agreed to kind of do the you know, furniture and interior design for my house. So he came out and, um, you know, he did everything for me. And it's just a very long process. 
Um, and yeah, we, we added some things like we added some built-ins and um, just some little things throughout the house. Um, and then, so that all got done and the furniture got installed literally like a few days before the season was um, uh, can't, uh, shut down. So it, was, it worked out great. It was, it was perfect timing for everything to be done. And, knew every day that I didn't really recognize it. Um, it's pretty special to, to you know, just be here with my parents and kind of enjoy it together. What kind of things have you been doing with your parents? I know that you said they made you breakfast. <laughs> yeah, they, no, they do, they do all my chores for me. It's been nice. They've been doing my laundry and, and uh, cooking me every meal. So um, that's definitely nice. Uh, and then we, like I said, we, we, we FaceTime like our family members almost every day. Um, and I know Friday we have like a big Zoom call with like all of our close family friends. So it'd be nice to see them and talk to them. We haven't talked to them in a while. And then, um, and then yeah, we like I said, we go on long walks uh, with the dog uh, almost every day. Um, we start shows. Um, my mom's doing like a she was like a coloring book right now that she's doing. Um, and then my dad and I, like, we will chip balls in the backyard. I have a little putting green in the backyard, so we'll go out and chip balls. And anything you can do, you know, you got to kind of get creative sometimes and, and uh, find something to do. But um, it's definitely nice having quality time with them. 